that so often those weeks after Katrina must not fade to a whisper. Those words have been caught in a tangle of half-measured, half-hearted leadership and red tape. After Hurricane Katrina, and I don't want to compare this to Katrina, but it put two days for President Bush to uh, lift the Jones Act to be able to let, you know, foreign boats come into the water to be able to help out two days. I just don't like the way this is being handled. And we're going to continue to update the American people on the situation in the, in the Gulf going forward. Now. I'd like to say a few words about the economy. And it, it seemed like lots of days ago on this, and, and Doug is right, this seemed like they're inconvenienced by this. Earlier today, DHS Secretary Napolitano announced that this incident is of national significance. And my administration will continue to use every single available resource at our disposal. The president will be judged on uh, our response and our recovery efforts. One of the reasons we brought the Coast Guard with us today was to see for themselves the boom's not out there, the oil's coming in. It doesn't do us any good to have hard boom sitting on the dock. It doesn't do us any good to have skimmers sitting in trailers. They need to be deployed now. We've got oil coming up into our marshes in globs, thick globs, every single day, and we don't have one ounce of action from the president. And the thing that makes me sad is it's never going to be the same. I can't. Just gonna dive down there and plug the hole. <laughs> I, I can't suck it up with a straw. He just looks like he, he's not involved in this, man. You got to get down here and take control of this, put somebody in charge of this thing and get this thing moving. We're about to die down here. I assembled a team of our nation's best scientists and engineers to tackle this challenge. A team led by Dr. Stephen Chu. Nobel Prize winning physicist and our nation's Secretary of Energy. Why does he continue to say that the Secretary of Energy has uh, a Nobel Prize? I mean, it's almost gotten ludicrous. Where was the how in this speech when the nation is crying out for how? I think it's interesting we have a blue ribbon panel now that's going to look into what went wrong. Can we move a little quicker than that, than to name a commission? There wasn't any specificity to it. I'm going to revise my, yeah. my remark, Chris. I don't think he aimed low. I don't think he aimed at all about this. It's, it's startling to have heard this, isn't it? I got this, it's okay, I got a commission, everything's gonna be fine. May God have mercy on our souls. <laughs> I mean, if this is a commission-based administrative problem, what's with the freaking talk? I think there was one bit of news there, and I don't know whether it's optimistic beyond belief, which is in the coming days and weeks, these efforts should capture up to 90% of the oil leaking out of the well. Well, that's the first I've heard of that. In coming days, we're gonna have this thing capped. This is what I go to bed at night thinking about.